Hello, my name is Theodore Roosevelt, and I was the president from 1901 to 1908, when I became president. All of my six children were excited about coming to live at the White House, as was my wife Edith and I, but I think the one who had the most fun here during my two terms as president was my youngest, Quentin. His mother and I enrolled him in the Force Public School where he made many friends, and not because he was my son. Among these friends were Earl Looker, who would publish a book about those days in 1929, Charlie Taft, son of William Howard Taft, my Secretary of War. Edward Steed, Dick Chu, and others. They became known as the White House Gang. Quentin and the gang were all little scamps, getting into their share of mischief, such as putting spitballs on the portrait of Andrew Jackson, trapping Quentin's sister Alice in the White House elevator, and pelting the White House guards with snowballs. Sometimes I would join in on their fun, such as leading them on hikes through a nearby park, or the time we were aboard the presidential yacht, the Sylph. After enthralling them with a story about pirates, I and the boys went ashore in a boat where we staged a mock pirate raid on an abandoned log cabin. It was bully fun. Although I took a lenient tone with most of their activities, remembering what it was like to be a boy, sometimes I had to step in, such as the time Quentin and some of the gang were using mirrors to reflect sunlight through the windows of the executive office building, disrupting government work. I had a signalman go to the top of the building and use signal flags to send the message. You, under the trees, all of you. Attack on this building must immediately cease. Report to me for you know what, T. Roosevelt. But for the most part, Quentin and the gang, not to mention me, had a great time while we lived here at the White House. Years later, when World War I broke out, Quentin, like his brothers, Ted, Archie, and Kermit, joined the military. Quentin became a fighter pilot, facing danger in the skies over France almost every day. On July 14, 1918, his plane was shot down in action. Quentin died in the crash and was buried with honors by the Germans as a sign of respect. They said when he died, the boy in me died as well. And it was true, his death hurt me deeply, as it did his mother. When his brother Ted died shortly after D-Day in World War II, and was buried in a military cemetery, Quentin's body was moved at his mother's request so the two could lie beside each other. Thanks for stopping by. Please leave a comment to let the creator of this video know what you thought of it.